Hi and welcome to a new Baramundi on Air video. My name is Nick and today we want to show you how you can configure custom variables and fill them automatically via an AD sync with AD attributes. So let's jump right in. In the BMC we switch to the tab configuration variable. Here we can create a new variable and now we have some configuration options. In the first step we set the scope. In our case we want to create a client variable, give the variable a name and a category. Also you can set the type with some different options. In our case we want a string and you also can set a default value with which the variable will be filled in the default. So now we can save our variable and if we now go to our client object, click on edit in the tab variables, we also see our new custom variable from the category organization and with the name department. So of course we can set the value for the variable here manually, but in our case we want to do it automatically via an AD sync. So in the next step we go back to configuration, AD synchronization and here we can already see our synchronization jobs. In our case we want to fill the client variable so we click on our client sync job and edit and now we can see the variables assignment. Here we now have the opportunity to fill a custom variable with an attribute from the active directory. In the next step we go to our active directory and open a client object and go to the attribute editor. In our case we will using the attribute comment, edit the attribute and set a value for it. We save the attribute and save the client object. So now we jump back to the BMC. The syntax for the variables assignment is category.name and our ID attribute. So in our case we have the syntax organization.department and our ID attribute comment. So now we can save and close our ID sync job and execute it now. After the successful execution of the Active Directory synchronization, we can go back to our client object, click on edit and go to the variables. And here we can now see that the custom variable was automatically filled with the ID attribute comment. If you want to use that custom variable in any other processes like a BDS script, you need to use the right syntax. To show you that, we go to the Automation Studio. The syntax for a custom variable is always scope.category.name. So in our example, we need to type in our custom variable with the scope client.category is organization dot the name is department. If you now executing the BDS script on a client, the variable will be resolved with the value from our custom client variable. So in our case with support. So now we created a custom variable, filled it automatically with an ID attribute and talked about how you can use the variable in any other case. We hope that we could help you with this video and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us in the support. See you next time.